Olá pessoas, sejam bem-vindos a mais um episódio do canal, quem vos fala no Sketch, mais um episódio de Take Care Lady, a nossa amiga nos chamou pra conversar, né? Ela queria trocar uma ideia, mas eu não sei sobre o que wrong, que é. O que que houve com a Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, eluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. No. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. Tá, um I map. made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? Por That's so great, é? Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? Hum. I'll think about it later. Panquecas. But we haven't hum. found him yet. Have we? No, but I feel that together we stand a chance. Tudo bem. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Sei que o cara que mora no apartamento I know that seis. rude, bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think tá. so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. <sighs> Wait, I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? See yeah, you, Ash. I suppose so. You think so? Okay, let's take a closer look at him then. Uh... There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type, but I heard him shouting a couple of times and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. Padrone. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. <laughs> Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily That's take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. <laughs> or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, hmm. Lucifer. Nossa, que belo nome. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Tá. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves tá. us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. There Tem are strange noises coming from sete. flat seven. Oh. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. I think I might know what's going on there. But it's worth games. checking anyway. <laughs> you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Mm. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. No. Nah. I hate dogs. Tadinho. Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Tadinhos. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There's a woman with a baby ah. living upstairs. No husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. 
I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Okay, tá, é só I think that's all that we know at the moment. You mentioned a pram. Hmm? This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? No. You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Todo dia alguém diferente batendo na porra da minha porta. O oh, desgrama. Who is it? In? Flowers. What? What's that in your other hand? Oh shit! Go away! Leave me alone! Cadê minha amiga? Que diabos acabou de acontecer aqui? Fui parar num barco. Porra, é essa? Acho que é o pior que isso. Parece comigo. Caraca. Por que eu fui parar, mano? Pera, essa aqui é uma parte da minha casa cheia de ossos. Esse aqui é o meu apartamento, velho. Tá trancado. E mais e mais ossos. Que porra tá acontecendo, velho? <risos> Empurrar. Não, acho que eu tenho força. <risos> o cacete, está se fechando cada vez mais. Trapo. 
que é isso? Tem uma faca ali. Tá. Apanha lá. Uma alavanca. Está aberto. Usar a alavanca. Eita, peguei uma massa. Porra, é essa, mano? Tá cacete. Ah, não. A sala com a velha. É, essa velha nunca mais apareceu. Eita, e Vai dizer que sou eu que me acidentei. É sempre eu que me acidento ou me ferro com alguma coisa, vocês já perceberam isso? Tá. Posso entrar? Está fechada. Olha que maravilha. Bom, pelo menos a gente tem uma massa, né? Tá, deixa eu voltar, amigos. Que porra é essa, velho? Deve ser, mas deve haver uma maneira de abrir essa fechadura. Ah, tem uma senha. Tá, tem algum tipo de senha. Sucata. Ué. Tem um barco. Olhar. É difícil ter certeza. Tá. Um bote. Tá porra. Tem um desenho aqui que parece um oito. Oito, quatro, oito, 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 quatro. É isso? Não entendo nada disso, são coisas técnicas. Espero que é isso. Capacidade mínima de passageiros, dois. Que bizarro. Elevador. Examinar. Hum. Não é energia. Caraca, que bizarro, mano. Ativar. Tenho que ligá-lo do outro lado, talvez não é difícil do cais, tá. É. Ah. Tá. Coisa bizarra. Ok, vamos vir pra cá. Entrar. Bom, a gente não consegue entrar pra essa porta e a gente só tem essa porta aqui onde tem esse tipo de monstro. Eita, olha eu ali atrás. Será que ele é de usar a faca? Vou por trás aqui assim. Hehehe. <risos> aqui, ó. Vou matar o monstro. Hum, que coisa creepy. Não, aqui tem que ter alguma coisa aqui. O pora. É eu e eu mesma? 
Ô, oh, porra. Oi, sou eu e eu mesma. Vamos examinar o cadeado. Talvez dê. Oito. Quatro. Oito. Tá. Não deu. Tá, beleza. Eita, minha alma é bem devagarzinha, né, mano? Ok. O meu corpinho... Agora meu corpinho tá correndo. Tá, será que eu consigo ativar o elevador? Não é energia. Ué! Tá. Beleza. Vamos tentar alguma coisa aqui. Se, bom, a gente tem um elevador aqui, né? Precisamos de energia. Será que dá de usar a massa? Não, não, não aqui. Ok. Bizarro. 884. 884. 384. Ah, é assim, é. Não é 884, é 384, que era um 3. Tá, vamos lá. Entrei. Tá. Três. Oito. Quatro. Aí, bem. Tá porra, painel. Será que agora eu consigo usar a massa? Ih, rapaz. Não é que deu certo mesmo? Vou operar. Oxi. Só falta a alavanca. Ok. Acho que eu tenho que ir me guiando Pra cá Máquinas, olhar Já vi essas máquinas antes Opa Aquela vez foi meu sangue o que fez funcionar Parece um pouco diferente Tá Hum, tem duas alavancas Hum, ok, vamos lá Usar Espera. Voltamos ao bagulho inicial. Mas usar. Ok. Operar. Tá, é algum jogo de lógica. Lá, opera. Bem, opera. Maldita, maldita. Uh. Meu dito para não é. Tá, aqui tem mais uma alavanca, operar. Falta alavanca. Caraca, tem que botar aqui, ó. Vamos lá, operar. Hum, legal. Remover alavanca. Tá. Agora vamos botar a alavanca aqui. Vamos lá. Opera. Tá. Remove. Opera. Tá. Falta a alavanca. Usa. Tô desgra... Desgrama. Voltou. Tá. Ela não vai. A gente tem que te remover a alavanca. Ah, remove a alavanca. É tudo lógico aqui, galera. Tá. Primeira coisa. Põe a palanca aqui. E vê se a minha alma vai... Vai ver, vai ver se né? Tá, ótimo. Agora a gente vai pra, pra próxima. A gente usa. Hum. Remover. Tá, vamos botar aqui. Tá, nada. Talvez a gente tenha que usar outra alavanca aqui enquanto uma tá no local. Espera, só falta a alavanca. Opera. 
Ah, tá, já saquei qual é que é. Remove a alavanca. E agora a gente vai empurrando ela de um em um, ó. Ah, é lógica, é fácil. Ok. Vou pegar. Beleza. Remove a alavanca. Agora vem pra cá. Vou pegar, nessa falta alavanca. Ai, meu Deus. Agora é a última, pelo menos. Tá. Só falta alavanca. Ok, agora a gente tem que pegar essa aqui e remover. Tranquilo. Examinar. Agora a gente opera. Eita! Tô saindo aqui, tá ligado, meu irmão? Será que demos a luz? Caraca, mano. Obrigado, 384, por ter salvado o meu jogo. E começou uma música full depressiva agora. Tá. Ativar. Goodbye, other world. Eu tô mergulhando com o meu corpo. Tá, isso é uma coisa de... Eita, Deus do céu. Que que houve? Ai, meu Deus. Behind my back, Mitzi. Manu. Miss Ashworth. I thought. I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No. I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. Caraca, mano. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Credo, velho. Pull yourself together and stop é. talking shit. I can't think properly. Meu Deus, ele te machucou? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache, but I think I'm all right. Ainda bem. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. No? Do you think he's going to rape us? No, he is not. Assim esperamos. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later they always make a mistake. Miss A? Oi. I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. So, so uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. Tá None at all, actually. I'm sorry. Relaxa. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With what? We're tied up. Are Calma. you going to headbutt him to death? 
On my way there. I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Hmm. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Tá, só consegui me molhar, né? Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. <risos> How about those lockpicks tá. that you always carry with you? Essas coisas que você sempre carrega Stop com você. Stop asking stupid questions and pull tá. with me. But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick going to help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? Let's use the sharp fita. knife to cut the tape, yeah? then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't no. really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. Don't we might just throw our bodies in the river or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. Uh -huh. I used to like flowers. Tá, you know, like like everyone everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. Eita. He was a taxi driver, worked every weekend, and I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them, somehow. They were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Que bizarro, né, mano? Eu acho que ela perdeu a filha. Nossa, quanto tempo atrás. Mas vamos salvar aqui, vamos ficando por aqui, ó. Me foi de 5, né? Tá melhor. Espero que vocês tenham gostado de mais um episódio desse jogo. Deixe seu gostei, abraço, moscast, valeu e valeu!